On June 3rd this year, I received a message on my DMs from one of my friends. He explained how he received a message from Kena about her third response on the drama. For those of you who don't know, she's been trying to apologize two times actually. And so far, they were both fucking awful. So we can safely assume that this one's gonna be bad as the other two. Or even worse. So, without further ado, let's move on to the fucking thing. I just wanna say something. Yeah, I'm not gonna send it to anyone, but this is just my way of venting out my feelings. You could have written it down like you did about your mom before. Why didn't you just do that here? No, I'm not trying to make any mom jokes, she really did do that. I, as much as I want to speak up about the drama going on with my boyfriend, I'm never heard, my voice is never heard. What the fuck are you talking about? You did it two times before! The fucking first apology was so bad even Yoshi didn't fucking accept it. Not only that, but the fact that you're Julian's girlfriend despite the fact he done some horrible shit makes people concerned about you rather than wanting to listen to you? Uh, all of them and all his friends, all they want to do is just be right. They want to be... They want to look like the good guys, even though... What they're doing isn't right either. We only want to get the evidence out against Julian. Plus, you just look like a fucking hypocrite because you're doing the exact same thing that you're saying that we're doing. On April 1st of last year, they made a video claiming that they weren't going to harass Julian anymore. And then they proceeded to say April Fool's and then list off a bunch of reasons why they wouldn't stop harassing him. You cannot be fucking serious. Okay, first off, the fact you believe that's a real apology video despite the fact there's evidence shown that it's not even an apology at all is fucking stupid. And second of all, where? Where's the list of harassments? There's like two fucking sentences and t they're just telling Julian to quit pulling the fucking mini lad. And I just find that disgusting. Yeah, you don't get to fucking say that when you're the same bitch who drew yourself having sex with Julian. Sure, the things that Julian did in the past were bad, but I don't I don't support the things Julian did in the past. But he's a good person now, he's changed. Wait a fucking minute, why didn't you explain the shit Julian has done? You fucking brought up the April Fool video, but yet you never brought up the fucking shit Julian has done. Which let me remind you, both shit happened in 2021. Not only that, fucking Blue Meme Dog does a better explanation on what the fuck he did than your shitty excuse of response. And him and his mom and me, we're all trying our best. Yeah, I'm gonna stop you right there. You two did nothing but jack shit. And even if you two did, it was handled terribly. All you do is try to dumb down Julian's side of the drama and try to make other people look bad as Julian despite the fact it's showing that Julian is fucking worse. Making a vent art of me saying how I'm torturing you, even though this was made before I even met you to begin with. Making a vote art of me for a very reason that doesn't make any sense at all. And hell, even on Maxim's livestream you threw a fucking tantrum in there. Because they were mad at your shit. And Julian's mom... All she did was fucking delete his channel, and even then, the reason's not even good either. But they just don't seem to stop. So doesn't Julian, fuck not. They just want to be right. They want to... They want to look like the good guys. Like I said before, so did you. And for some reason, what they're doing is working. Hey. Maybe because of the fact that people have evidence against Julian. They've shown how Julian is a fucking disgusting bastard. How the fuck are people gonna listen to you when you're, all your videos are just a black screen with no providing evidence for your claims? No matter how much they keep harassing Julian, people are always gonna think that they're the good people. You know, it's kind of funny how you try to make Julian look like the victim despite the fact he's shown that he done fucked up shit. Not Julian is the bad one. And they tell me that I use my autism as an excuse. 
Because you do. That's literally one of the most common things you talk about when it comes to the Julian drama. And spoilers, you do realize the fact you bring up autism for your case a lot, you're making other people who have autism as well as bad as Julian. You know, now I'm thinking about it, I I'm gonna get Yoshi in here. He actually has autism. I'm gonna let him explain what the fuck is wrong with this. As a guy who has autism, the fact that she uses autism as an excuse for Julian's actions, it fucking pisses me off. And I'm not trying to use my autism as an excuse. It's who I am. And it's not gonna help your fucking case. And I try my best. Sometimes I say things that I don't really mean. And they don't get that. Says the one who said the bore with a joke, even though it's already clear it was made out of anger. I think that everything I say is planned. Everything that he say is like a script. You fucking did this to yourself! We have nothing to do with this fucking bullshit! You're only part of the fucking drama because Rose caught you fucking doing this shit behind our backs and try to act like we're our friends. You fucking backstabbed us, bitch! Oh, and anyone who's watching, I want you to remember Rose throughout this video, because trust me, that's gonna be very important until I bring it up. And I'm trying to be mean, which I'm not. But I'm so sorry for the bad things I've said. I really mean it. I really mean sorry. You know, I really don't understand why the fuck you're apologizing. Like, you already know, like, we're not gonna fucking forgive you, so what makes you think this one's gonna help out? A lot of people are not going to forgive you for the shit you've been doing behind our backs. I'm not just doing it to get attention. I'm not trying to be an attention seeker. This is the third fucking apology you made. The hell are you talking about? I just want to genuinely say I'm sorry. I just want to forgive me and understand. And hear me out. Yeah, I find that funny that you start apologizing when all this shit came out about you. And we did listen to you, and all you did was pull shit out of your ass and blame your action on other people and try to make Julian's action dumbed down as possible. Even the fucked up ones. But... I'm losing hope really fast. Cause... They just won't listen. Yeah, I wonder fucking why we don't listen to you, you dipshit. They're just gonna keep doing what they're doing. Keep harassing Julian, everybody else is gonna keep seeing them as the good guys. You know, I find it funny that you bring up the fact that people are harassing Julian when the fucker was doing nasty shit to them to begin with. I mean, how? He blamed his action on a person who he drew naked. And don't act like you weren't fucking aware of the shit he was doing. One of the porn drawings he made was in your fucking TikTok. Play the clip! Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Officer Vanessa. I dare to explain without using it's all in a pass card. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna give up. I'm just gonna stay out of this drama for now. I really hope it dies down soon because I can't take much of this any longer. Yeah, the only reason why you want it to die down is because you're fucking a part of it. Even then, making this video won't fucking help your case either. Oh, and, and if anyone's saying, but you're the one who made the response video to it. First off, she was the one who made the fucking video to begin with and try to give a shitty apology. It's absolutely disgusting. And all I wish is for them to stop. Yeah, and I wish for you to fuck off, but guess what? Not every dream come true. They can hate Julian all they want. People have a fucking reason why they hate Julian, Kina. But... I just don't want them to make it everybody's problem. Yeah, well you may not realize that Julian's the one who's dragging them down there as well. It's not even, well, not everybody's problem because they agree with him. Okay, and who exactly? Because if you're talking about his fans, <sighs> let me go get my outfit. Okay, if you're talking about his fan, then you may have wear that under controversy as well. 
Joa is under controversy for making feet pics. Ohea CJ is under controversy for harassing Supersonic Riley to the point that he made fun of his dad, who if you don't know is dead, and doing weird shit to other people. JDD! You know, I don't even need to explain what he did, I'm just gonna let this clip explain it for you. Jesus Muffin Christ! Spyro! Trying to act like Julian's all in innocent and at one point try to say how Julian said the no no word, he means rape. Even though he's the same fucker who denied that shit to begin with. Okay, what well, to explain this dipshit? Explain this. Explain he never this. Says that stuff. He that literally. Could a, that could be a different one. R freeze frame, real quick, buddy. So Run you're not saying. Back. So you're saying that we are jerks when your friend did this. <laughs> He, this is look legit. What, look what Julian did. He's talking about y'all, fool. Antonio Balzano. He's a pedophile. Mr. or Mr. Riffinant, whatever. Does a lot of depression and death baits. And him and you lying about saying how Vivessa is dating him. Spoiler, she doesn't even like him. So yeah, even the people who are defending Julian are fucking concerning as him. I don't. Because... Trying to use our age as an excuse or anything, but we're both 14. You already said that before in your first apology. Julian's only 14. Hey, buddy, there's a little thing that everybody's been talking about. It's called Nobody Gives a Fucking Shit. And we're already being treated like we're criminals or we're being treated like we're like a world famous murderer or something. The fuck? How the fuck is grooming at the same level as a world famous murderer? That makes no sense. That's like comparing EDP to Ted Bundy. You... You called me one of Julian's quote unquote victims for crying out loud. And yet you said I'd torture you even though that drawing would make before I even fucking met you to begin with. And I'm not a victim. I just want to be heard. And nobody wants to do that because you were one-sided the whole time and you were fucking backstabbing us and trying to act like we're all fucking friends. And as much as I want to send this to somebody, which I'm having second thoughts because I might, but I know this isn't going to work. You know what's funny? Do you want to know how I got this clip? Like, do you want to know the same person who gave me this clip? Now off. I know it's something like it's not important, but trust me, it actually is. For those of you unaware, Now off is a close friend of mine. He does some of the art for our videos, and I really love them. She wanted to spy on Kena and give her each drama as possible, and he knows that she's gonna fucking suck at it. So guess what? That one friend that you believe that's your closest friend to wear the joint drama? He's fake. He's my friend. In fact, he made a Google document against you. If you guys want to see it, it's in the link description below. People are just gonna leave hate comments and say, Oh, you're wrong. You, you don't want to understand. Julian is a bad person. He always will be. Blah, blah, blah. So why did you even make the video to begin with if you already know it's going to fail? You just said what the hell is going to happen, so basically you completely just fucked yourself over. I mean, look at the shit you wrote on your TikTok. Hell, in one of your videos, you wrote a poem how you sork at handling the shit. I just... I just wish that FM and his friends would stop harassing Julian. Yeah, and I wish you weren't a stupid fuck and actually listen to what the fuck is going on. You act like Julian's a fucking nice person. He's not. I know Julian harassed FM at times, but... FM harasses him, too. And do you have your evidence? No? Okay. That April Fool's... That April Fool's video was just disgusting. And even then, the April Fool's video and the shit Julian has done happened in the exact same fucking year. So basically, you're being a fucking hypocrite. That's all I have to say and... All I want is for this to stop. I just want FM to stop. He made a video eight days ago, I think. Uh, technically that's more of a trailer than a video, but okay. Just harassing Julian over and over again. 
They never make any other content. All they do is just harass Julian, expose him, make exposing videos. Bitch, the main topic of the fucking channel is literally in the goddamn name. Sure, yeah, there's like Blue Freddy and Rainbow Kitty mentioned in there, but they are semi-connected to the drama. Plus, it really wouldn't make any sense considering the fact if we focus on other drama, it will break the rule of the fucking name. The whole point of the channel is to explain what the fuck happened to people with what Julian did. This is one of the exact same fucking problem I had with Julian's response a while back. There's five parts to this series. Five and a half, actually. You forgot about nine months later. And I hate it. I hate that they're harassing this 14-year-old boy who didn't know that what he did was wrong. OBJECTION! Okay, one, you broke your own fucking rule that affect you're not you're trying to use age as an excuse in this situation. And two, he fucking was. Three, nobody cares about Julian being 14. Even older people like, let's say, Arthur, who's seen a lot of pedophilic shit and even mentioned the fact that he's 14, but more focused on the fact that shit, the shit he has done. And you try to fucking defend his actions. And fourth, this is the most important one. Remember how I told you I'm writing about Rose? Yeah. I find it funny that you're trying to defend Julian by saying how the fact he's 14, but yet you're mad at a fucking 12 year old who was groomed by Julian to the point that you even blame her for your own fucking actions. Congratulations, you managed to find a way to sound retarded and hypocritical by one fucking sentence. I hate how they're harassing this person who just he was already having a hard time, and you guys just made it worse. So did you! You did fucking nothing! You were encouraging his shit, and fucking moved on like it's nothing, and fucking using autism for the shit he has done! And now there's thousands of people sending him death threats, wanting him dead. It's disgusting. Uh, can you please show that? Because mostly, it was mostly him talking about the shit doing that, not other people. But nobody will ever understand that their actions are disgusting. They're just gonna keep doing it. Strang, you should've said it to fucking Julian! Seriously, quit fucking babying him like he did nothing wrong! You fucking get mad over shit that people do, but yet you fucking scoot Julian like he's just nothing but a big deal. Just for popularity. And to make them seem like they're the good guys. Yeah, here's the thing. Nobody in the channel fucking cares about popularity. They're fucking w warning people about fucking Julian's behavior. If you actually watch our channel, we don't give a fuck about popularity. Well, yeah, thank thanks for congratulating me, us on uh, 100 subs, but uh, that's we, not we need, important right now. Yeah, that's not important anymore. In fact, what's funny, the only person who only did the Julian drama for popularity was Rainbow Kitty, and that was only because she was called out by a bigger person. I can't even describe how disappointed and disgusted I am at those people right now. I'd keep on going, but it's just gonna make this worse. I know they're just gonna. If somebody's gonna find this, they're gonna send it to the FM. And they're gonna start harassing me all over again. Oh, FM and his friends are gonna harass me even though shit I'm doing is completely wrong. Seriously, go fuck yourself. So, this makes it onto another FM video. I hope you're happy. You know, I should be laughing right now, but the fact you told me a couple of days to put my thoughts into this dog shit, I'm more pissed off than happy. Well, that was the end of Kena's thing. I can't really call it an apology concerning that this feels more like a rant than an apology. So, uh, Kena's dog shit is one of the fucking dumbest things I've reacted so far. Honestly, this feels stupid in many ways. Like, I don't really even explain. I just explained the whole fucking shit. So, in the end, she's gonna continue what she's trying to do.
fucking play the victim and give out shitty apologies. Thank you guys for watching and hope to get to see you next time.